This fish looks happy. The water in his tank has been purified using new technology based on UV LED and photocatalysis. The new technology was developed through a European research program which brought together a group of enterprises and the Cork Institute of Technology. The two main ingredients are titanium dioxide and UV LED. We load the glass spheres into this little housing. We then use the LED and we shine the UV radiation onto the titanium dioxide coating. The water then passes from the fish tank through the reactor. It uh, travels around the spiral over the coated titanium dioxide beads and simply back in through the pump to the fish tank. UV irradiation is commonly used for water purification. These particular rays kill many bacteria and viruses, but the mercury lamps are not environmentally friendly and costly to run. Researchers from the Cork Institute of Technology worked on UV LED lamps. First, they needed to decide on UV wavelengths for the process. The light comes out of the device here, down through this fibre and into this detector. And from this detector here, we get an image displayed on the screen, which tells us about the intensity and distribution of the light that comes from the LED. We can use that detail and that data to characterize the device. We can use it to operate it at a, an efficient level. And that tells us about the inputs we need then for different models when we model the reactor itself. We modulate the intensity of the UV light. We measure the quantity of beams which arrive on the surface to optimize the distance between the UV source and the dish. The speed of the chemical reaction depends on the intensity and spectrum of the UV light. Therefore, we can calculate at which speed the water will be purified. LED technology is a growing trend. One of the biggest increases in technology is in the field of UV, according to the project coordinator. LED technology is ramping up at considerable rates um, and we, do, we are getting more and more requests from people who are currently not using LED technology but are keeping abreast of the advances to choose a moment in time where they can bring the LEDs into their process or into their application. Photocatalysis is an effective way of getting rid of low concentrations of pollutants. UV irradiated titanium dioxide is more powerful than chlorine. Bacteria are killed when they travel to the surface of the catalyst. A reactor would preserve the environmental balance in aquariums. The industrial solutions can uh, very efficiently clean high concentrations of pollutants. But uh, there is a certain level uh, which is very hard to remove. So this is uh, the field where photocatalysis actually uh, is very useful. We realize that uh, the big companies are not all that keen and, uh, on, uh, on this type of uh, cleaning and uh, this might be a little bit too expensive also, and um, most of it, uh, it's a long-term activity. With this reactor, the group might show how larger water purification devices could be useful for big companies.